That story in just a moment. First, we continue to follow breaking news out of Richmond where the police chief has resigned. Good evening, I'm Candace Byrne. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. We have in-depth team coverage tonight, including two exclusive angles. Our Maggie Marshall spoke to community members and explains what comes next. Plus, we put together a timeline of Gerald Smith's tenure in the, the department. But first, let's go to our Tyler Lane. He spoke to council members about this news. Tyler? Well, the city leaders I spoke to tonight say this is something that needed to happen after months of public safety turmoil and internal issues within the police department. Now, we actually saw former Chief Gerald Smith leave City Hall this evening shortly before the city made that announcement, but he did not want to tell us about his resignation. Okay, what just happened at City Hall? Was it an emergency meeting? Not an emergency meeting at all, Tyler. What happened? Have a good day. Those words from Gerald Smith as he denies anything significant happening during a closed door meeting at City Hall Tuesday afternoon. Though an hour later, CBS 6 would confirm he resigned as chief of police of the Richmond Police Department. I think it's the right thing to have happen. I think Chief Smith did the right thing. In a statement, Mayor LeVar Stoney, who appointed Smith during the height of civil unrest in 2020, did not elaborate as to why Smith stepped down. But he says the city is, quote, pivoting to ensure we have the infrastructure, including leadership, in place to meet the needs of the current landscape of the police department. Smith's departure comes as city council members, including Mike Jones, say they're concerned about recent controversies involving Smith. Right, that something drastic was going to have to happen. Either there was going to be a, a, a true, strong sit down to really deal with uh, the concerns of the rank and file, or maybe some type of separation. It looks like that's where we came to. And Reva Trammell too, the only counselor who publicly called for Smith's resignation. Where's our police officer? We don't have them. Why? They're gone. We're trying to get them back. But who wanted to come back under these, these kind of conditions when you have officers and a city council person that's screaming and hollering and said, we have no confidence in you. Since Smith took over, RPD has suffered growing officer vacancies, currently about 150 unfilled positions. He also remains under scrutiny for his claims about an alleged July 4th mass shooting plot and producing no public evidence of it. Plus, the police union that represents more than half of the department's officers has asked Smith to resign twice now, citing low morale under his leadership. When employees begin to share their concerns about leadership and direction, I think that's something we all have to take into account. With Smith out of the picture, Trammell considers it a new day in the city of Richmond. It's a new opportunity for us to move forward, to go forward. And despite challenges, both Jones and the mayor thanked Smith for his service. Now, after the news broke, we did try reaching out to Smith again for additional comments, but we were unable to get a hold of him. Now, the search for what will be the fifth police chief under Mayor LeVar Stoney is in the works. But in the meantime, my colleague Maggie Marshall is live to tell us about who is taking over temporarily. And Maggie, you were the only reporter at RPD to see him get sworn in tonight. Yeah, Tyler, that's right. That swearing in happened just through these lobby doors here at headquarters. Some people say they're really surprised by all of this, while others tell me they kind of saw it coming based on recent events. In the Richmond Police Headquarters lobby Tuesday night, CBS 6 captured this through the glass front doors. Officials were swearing in now acting police chief Richard Edwards. Just minutes following the city announcing Chief Smith's resignation. Edwards is no stranger to RPD. He has served with the department for 23 years. The mayor's office says the chief administrative officer made the recommendation. They describe Edwards as professional, a team player, and an officer with distinction. Before that, he got his degree from the University of Richmond, where he was an all-conference basketball player. The news of the sudden shift in leadership trickled into a large community meeting to combat gun violence, with community members reacting like this. Community leaders like Congressman Donald McKetchen also was caught off guard. I didn't, had no inkling that it was going to happen. Well, we certainly wish the chief well in his future endeavors, and uh, we wish the mayor and uh, city council all the best in hiring a, a good replacement who will 
be a good leader in the city. While Pastor Hodge of Second Baptist Church of Southside didn't have the same reaction. The city of Richmond is does have a, a vacuum, a, a leadership vacuum. Um, someone needs to take the reins and kind of say, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to do it and really lay out a detailed plan of action to reduce uh, gun violence. As the community takes in this change in leadership, they say they are counting on the department to continue to protect and serve as the city finds their new leader. I, think, I believe we have shootings today in the city. Um, it's every day. And so some a real strategic gun violence intervention strategy needs to be implemented. Just know that we love you, that we're behind you. Uh, while we may criticize some things that happen, at the end of the day, we need you in place. We need you to be uh, safe, and we need you to keep us safe. Acting Chief Edwards has not yet made his first public statement, though you can count on CBS 6 to continue to update you as this story continues. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Maggie. Now here's an in-depth look at the timeline of Gerald Smith's career with the department. Amidst the protests in June 2020, Mayor LeVar Stoney hired Smith after he had spent nearly 30 years in the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department in North Carolina. In February of last year, Smith made major changes to his command staff by firing three longtime high-ranking officers. In December of 2021, the Richmond Coalition of Police called for Smith's resignation, citing low morale, but Stoney insisted he still had full confidence in Smith. Then in July of 2022, as Tyler mentioned, Smith and Mayor Stoney announced that two men were arrested for planning a mass shooting on the 4th of July. Questions continued for several months as no charges regarding a mass shooting were brought up in court. But in August, Smith maintained his officers stopped the shooting at Dogwood Dell. Earlier this month, two council members expressed concerns over low morale in the department.